So several weeks ago, now it's a couple months, I took over the 49ers report, and it is an opportunity that I have relished because I've loved interacting with the Niner gang. And I want to continue to interact with the Niner gang. We're one of the largest and best 49ers channels here on YouTube. We're at north of 36,000 subscribers. We're trying to get to 40K leading up to the 2021 NFL season. But this is my question, and this is the duty that I want you to tackle. How likely are you to recommend the 49ers report by Chat Sports to a 49ers fan. I know there are a lot of 49ers channels out there on YouTube. I'd like to think we are the best, but scale the 49ers report from zero or one to 10 for us in the comment section and recommend it to a fan out there. Let's kick off this mailbag with this question from Britt125. 49ers, Saints, Steelers, Broncos, hate saying that, but if Stafford doesn't work out for the Rams, but the three I said are great choices. I think he's saying that the Saints, Steelers, Broncos are Jimmy Garoppolo trade destinations. If Stafford doesn't work out with the Rams, are you saying that Jimmy Garoppolo could maybe get traded there? Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Stafford is going to work out with the Rams, but I do agree with you in saying that the Saints, Steelers, Broncos, all pretty solid choices for Jimmy G. The Rainbow Cow with this question, can Jimmy land with the Giants with those weapons and defense? How do they not make the playoffs? That's a good trade destination, and I thought about putting the Giants on that list because if Daniel Jones doesn't work out, it's a lot like the situation down in Miami with Tua Tungavaloa. Dolphins are going to find out early on if Tua can play, and they're going to find out if he is the future guy. If not, they have to make moves to either land a quarterback via trade, free agency next year, or maybe they package some picks to move up in the draft to select their future signal caller. Giants, though, really, really good option. I'm higher on Daniel Jones than most. I think he can play, but it's a make-or-break year for him, just like it is for Tua. Speaking of Jimmy G, Daniel Jones, and all these quarterbacks, who's going to have more starts in 2021 for the 49ers? Is it going to be Jimmy Garoppolo? If so, type G in the comment section. Is it going to be Trey Lance? Type L. Get your votes in in the comment section. We move forward in this mailbag with this question from Justin Avalara. All white alternate jerseys or the red ones we will wear this year? So they're throwing it back to the 1994 uniforms to pay homage to the 1994 season when the 49ers went 13-3 and and won that Super Bowl just boat racing the San Diego Chargers. They're going to wear the red 94 jerseys for six games. They're going to wear the white jerseys for, I believe, two games, and both of them very, very fresh. The Rainbow Cow with this question, are you a fan of Don Tolliver or Travis Scott? Oh, okay, we're talking music here. Producer Perry, you're a big rap music fan, as am I. Do you like Don Tolliver or Travis Scott? Give me a nod. No? You're not big? You're more of a J. Cole guy, right? So I love J. Cole. If I could list like my top five rappers right now in this current age, and I'm not the highest on some of the current rap that we're listening to right now because I think in the 2010 range, when you had Kanye, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, all in their prime, uh, they were going crazy with some bars. Guys right now that I really like listening to, J. Cole, as well as like Meek Mill. Um, I also still like Kendrick Lamar as well. And I just like throwing it back to some of the classics. Travis Scott, I would certainly take over Don Tolliver though. John, how will Shanahan's offense look slash cha uh, change with Trey Lance at the helm? I think it's going to change dramatically. Uh, you go back to Kyle Shanahan's tenure as an offensive coordinator, basically going back to really Cleveland and Washington, even Atlanta. The only dual threat quarterback who he's had, Robert Griffin III. Uh, you can throw out Johnny Manziel, but Johnny Manziel didn't care at all about his tenure in the NFL. He was just there to make a bunch of money. So the Niners have never had a dual threat quarterback as talented as Trey Lance. And I can probably say this with certainty. Kyle Shanahan has never had a quarterback prospect who he's been able to mold and coach who's as dynamic as Trey Lance. He can chuck it. He can throw it. And with Jimmy G, Nick Mullen, CJ Beathard, all of those guys, pretty one dimensional. They can only throw the rock. Trey Lance can do both. So I think that's why 
you're seeing the Niners draft bigger offensive linemen because Kyle Shanahan is looking ahead into the future because he wants to have a more downhill physical running approach. That's why Kyle Shanahan is drafting a physical running back in Trey Sermon and also bringing in Elijah Mitchell, who's not as physical as he is fast, but you're just seeing somewhat of a change of philosophy. They're planning ahead with Trey Lance, and once they take the doors off of him, my gosh, I think he has all-world potential. Michael Jones, who? Mike Jones, who? Mike Jones. Where do you think Garoppolo is going to end up if the 49ers trade him? Funny you ask that. If you're watching the 49ers report live as we're bringing you this mailbag, then you already saw the video that we put out there about our Jimmy G trade destinations. If you're watching this video right now after the fact, we did publish a video looking at six teams who the 49ers could trade Jimmy Garoppolo to. I'll give you a preview. There's three on your screen right now. Washington, Denver, as well as the Houston Texans. Be sure to check that video out right here on the 49ers Report by Chat Sports. And if you haven't subscribed already, go to youtube.com slash chatsportstv and subscribe right now as we took a look at six trade destinations for Jimmy G. Do you love the 49ers report? I hope so. I certainly love the 49ers report as well. I'm telling you this, you'll love the 49ers report because we give you free videos every single day on the latest news and rumors, the latest updates. Anytime something breaking happens, we bring it to you here on the channel as well. Subscribe right now by going to youtube.com slash 49ers TV or hit that red subscribe button down below. Charlie Nilo with this question, if we trade Jimmy to Miami for Tua and a few picks, what do you think? Uh, the, the, the 49ers don't need Tua Tungavaloa. You have Trey Lance. So if you want Tua to be an expensive backup, okay. You know, he was selected fifth overall. So he's going to be somewhat expensive because he is a former first-round pick. I don't think you need Tua. Uh, I think Tua would become the backup in Miami if you get a couple of picks for Jimmy Garoppolo, like a third round pick, a fourth round pick, I'd certainly give that up because you get draft capital back, but also you clear $24 million of base salary off the books this year as well as next year. Another question coming in from the Rainbow Cow. Where are we finishing in our division? I believe second. Who do you think they're finishing second to? Because I think if the Niners stay healthy, they can win the NFC West. Totally understand. This division is a gauntlet. It's going to be what I think is the best division across football. It might come down to week 18. That's how good it is. The Seattle Seahawks won 12 games last year. The Rams made it to the playoffs and won, I believe, 10. They bring in Matthew Stafford. They're going to improve. The Arizona Cardinals with Kyler Murray, they're taking jumps up as well. So I still think, hey, Niners stay healthy. They can win this division. Even if they do finish second, though, they're going to make it to the playoffs. And I do think it's realistic three teams out of the NFC West make the playoffs because I don't think a division like the NFC East is going to be all that good. Who will have more yards receiving in 2021? Not rushing because I know Ayuk and Samuel can both compile rushing yards. More yards receiving this year. Debo Samuel, type S. Brandon Ayuk, type A. Be sure to get your votes in. Brandon Lau, name a player on offense and defense that will exceed expectations. Okay, so this could kind of be kind of in that breakout category. Let me try to go with something different than Jalen Hurd offensively. I think Aaron Banks is going to exceed expectations at right guard. I think he's going to start from week one. I think he's going to live up to the hype of being a second round pick defensively. If the Niners don't bring a, in a player like Steven Nelson or Richard Sherman at cornerback, I think Diamador Lenore uh, could impress. I think Ambry Thomas is going to get snaps right away. I even think Talanoa Hufonga could play a big role on special teams. And I'm a big special teams guy because I'm a big hashtag football guy. So there are a couple options right there. Charlie Nilo, what it do? What do you think about Trey Lance's stats for 2021 if he starts? If he starts every game, 17 games in this 18-week schedule, as we add a game on to the NFL slate this year, let's just go with like 27 touchdowns and 12 picks. If Trey Lance does that, I think that's a pretty good rookie season. If he also puts together a 600-yard rushing season with like five rushing touchdowns, those are pretty elite numbers for a rookie quarterback. Fort Clips, this is the last question in this mailbag. Fred Warner extension deal 
will lead the way for the 49ers defense this year. I think it's inevitable that Fred Warner is going to sign that contract extension. I think he's going to make somewhere in the neighborhood of 16 to $19 million. If he makes 18 plus anywhere above that, he could become the highest paid linebacker in the NFL. The extension is going to happen. I at least think so. And yes, if he's on the field, he's going to lead this Niners defense. They just have to stay healthy. And if they do, they will certainly be dynamite.